There's a lot of people here at different stages um, with social media. What advice would you give to those who haven't yet engaged in this space? What sort of things should they be thinking about and what are the first steps that you'd advise that they take? And it goes again back to what are you trying to achieve. I think a good example for more than we were trying to achieve engagement with a customer. Our product life cycle is one year, so how do you get customers to come back and talk to us or talk about us? throughout the year where they have their product between the time they buy and the time they renew. And for us the, the answer was uh, there seems to be a gap in the market where people are not having these conversations about what insurance means for them, the ability to drive, the ability to have a house, to live somewhere, to be safe. And so we decided to go and launch our own platform. Obviously I have to keep a presence in social networks and, and part of that is figuring out which social network is most relevant to what you're up to, whether it's MySpace or Facebook and there are different things to be uh, with those different social networks. Just to further on the uh, issue of Twitter, I use an a application called um, TweetDeck. You can do this in Twirl, T-W-H-I-R-L, because we can't spell on the internet. Um, and this shows you just mentions of, of The Guardian. Um, most of it is, is thankfully people passing around stories that they saw in The Guardian, um, but occasionally it's, oh my god, I can't believe The Guardian journalist just wrote that. Um, so that is a filter just about The Guardian. Interestingly enough, that over there is TwitScoop, which shows you the ideas that are trending on uh, Twitter at that point. This was 11 a.m. this morning, and people are talking about cakes. So it's not tea time yet, but that's what they're talking about. Obviously on social networks, there's so many different audience segments. Um, is, is it a case of one size fits all, or how can you communicate kind of personally with, with everyone that's on a social network? It's obviously very difficult um, to try and say, you know, in the same way as you're talking to perhaps a, a magazine or a newspaper advert or, or PR even, um, where you could say, I know this is particularly watched by X, Y and Z. Because social working sets, once you've spoken to someone, you've got a group, uh, a Facebook group for instance, that instantly goes out and, and it's spread around the world and it be, be picked up by somebody else or some other group. So you can't control it in that way or, or measure it in that way. But um, what you can try and do is to try and use the facilities uh, of uh, these social networking sites uh, and, and the functionality of them to try and reach out to them. Direct mail, trying to approach each one is virtually like direct mail and it is no good. But if you use Facebook's functionality, for instance, you can actually get them to approach the, the, these particular groups and advocates uh, and feed that back in. And if you get then a link between those two, you, you can create a sort of um, brand advocates for your, for your particular product or service. Uh, and once you've got that uh, line of communication going, and you know that they're happy for you to talk to them, uh, and they're more than willing to talk to you, and that's crucial, that you treat them with respect, then you've got a, a really good dialogue going on. You can, you, you can, I won't say use them, but you can actually work with them. Is there not a risk, though, that in uh, approaching the social networks directly, they might steer you towards a more commercial route, um, you know, banners or buttons down the side, as opposed to the more um, conversational stuff that, that brands are really after at the moment? I think that, actually, you'd be surprised. <laughs> and if my um, head of sales was here, I think he would be telling you that they spend most of their, their time and energy into educating brands about getting involved in the more authentic use of social networks. So banners and buttons have a place and it might be that you are very unknown or you need to drive traffic at speed and they might just act as pointers. But that's all they do. The actual real activity and, and the, where you actually get the real benefit happens on the profile itself. So they um, talk about something called engagement marketing which really is exactly what it says. It's, it's coming up with content material um, and engaging experience that actually makes the audience want to A, become a friend, but then continue to have a conversation with you. So they would argue that that's where they spend their time and energy. And they would also argue that we've had to get more and more creative. So we ourselves actually launched something called Bebo Originals, so our own original content um, in 2007. And it was another way to actually produce engaging content for the user base, but allow brands another way to engage and interact with those users by bringing them authentically into the content itself and making them part of the experience.
Obviously, one of the most exciting things about social networks is their huge audience potential. Most of them have a sort of global presence these days. Um, but with such a vast global audience spanning many different countries and many different cultures, how do you go about communicating with the different um, segments within that audience on a really personal and relevant level? So what's important in terms of, from a global perspective is understanding those different markets. So use um, the communications team that you have on the ground, talk to the sales teams, talk to your agencies and get an understanding. Uh, and then I think the best advice is, is a softly, softly approach where you test them, um, test various tools out, see what works, what resonates and what doesn't. Uh, and it isn't uh, one approach fits all, but there's definitely some uh, vehicles such as video that do work across different audiences, different markets.